Hi everybody, welcome to this opening round video for Expert Division in the Coastal Cliffs Tournament here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. Thumbs up please if you don't mind and make sure you subscribe as well. Now due to time and work commitments, I've had to split up the holes into three videos. So it is six holes per video. Make sure you check out all three parts. They are up on the channel home page. Remember to take a token or two, tweak as needed according to your clubs, balls and play style. And of course, those all important wind angle tweaks as you go. But we've got plenty of drops to use as references. Timestamps in the video description down below. Good luck. Here we go. This is a no movement target shot with our sniper. We are going to go here and spin is very important. Uh, it is just before two backspins. So uh, 1.8 backspin and two left spin. And obviously we don't need to move the target until we adjust our rings. So simply add your spin first, concentrate on getting that amount correct. And then time to adjust. We're going to go mid plus 25 power three settings. Because this hole is very tricky, I would recommend to keep the wind, um, you know, around, well, definitely below 8.4 miles per hour. If you get anything uh, higher than that, I would switch to wind four if possible. A perfect ball away. We'll need some wind angle tweaks as well. But it bounces nicely on the fairway and rolls onto the green. Even if you miss the hole in one, you will still uh, not roll into the rough or the sand. Time to send it on this one. We're going to set up at the top of plus 24 with APOC 5 and above. APOC 5 and 6 will have half of the red ring overlapping the fairway. Uh, 5.8 top spin and 2 right spin. If you've got APOC level 4, uh, you will have 70% um, of the red ring on the fairway and you will be at P5 max rest. We are just max plus 10 power 5 settings and once I've done that we are going to make a push up here. It may need to vary depending on the wind strength so please bear in mind that a tweak or two might be good. But for APOC 5 and above I'm pushing up to the top of plus 12. That will be the equivalent of the top of plus 19 with APOC 4. We'll give you a slower needle 0.8 ball curl to the right, look at the edge of the berserker there, touching the inside of the shot circle, and uh, of course full overpower, slow needle, hit perfect, clearing the rough very nicely, and going down the right hand side of the fairway, which is what I want to do, obviously a heavy great right might hit the rough, so be advised on that one, around 485. Second shot, we're going to make a fringe check. Put the bullseye over the fringe line where it meets the green in line with the pin. Gave me plus eight. That will be plus 10 with sniper level nine. Then I'm going to add spin. This rough bump is a really good chance for an albatross here. So I'm just taking a moment to get the spins that I want to use. In the end, I go uh, with three top spin. And then I'm having the inner green ring touching the rough line and the ball guide through the hole. Don't worry about setting up close to the rough, we're just slightly downhill here, so we're not going to miss the rough unless you're really off with your adjustment or your execution of the shot. Uh, plus 8 with sniper 10 uh, is going to be 24% slider, 0 elevation, there you can see we're pulling downhill. Two pulls over the bullseye, use sniper 10 numbers please, and then centre the ball, make sure you've got no overpower on here, and then hit perfect, catching the rough very nicely there. Rolling onto the green and we're getting the albatross right at the pin. We're going to go with the katana here. We don't need anything more than that really, in my opinion at least. We're going to add spin first. 4.8 top spin and 3 left spin. Then our position will be as follows. Clear ring, touching the rough line with APOC 5 and 6 at the top of plus 2. APOC 4 you will be at the top of plus 8. And uh, you will have 40% of the clear ring overlapping the rough max plus zero power two settings okay max plus zero power two uh, looks like around 6.9 rings for me and then we're going with um, a good two and a quarter ball of left curl just before the circle drops as our overpower reference draw a line down from the t and look where that would have intersected the tip of the triangle to double check you've got the right amount of curl great left might be a disaster here well not disaster but you will probably hit the rough on your first bounce so try and hit perfect we are going to go with a sand bump here this is not for the faint-hearted if this isn't for you 
then just play a containing shot instead. Uh, five and a half top spin, one bar left spin. Landing position is key here, playing with the Thor's hammer. And uh, the ring references will be different, but I want to have the ball guide about five green squares through the hole. Just look at where that tip of the ball guide is ending there. It's a good five green squares through the hole. Try and keep the wind below eight miles per hour if possible. I've not tested this in higher winds. The adjustment is min plus 30, power three pulling over the bullseye. You don't have to use a precision ball here, but it might help just take some of your focus onto the shot setup rather than worrying about hitting perfect. We're going with circle drop over power. So the first point that that circle drops, otherwise you're gonna come in short. Perfect ball away, will need some wind angle tweaks as well this one, but there's a very good reference drop to get you started on this par three. Here we're going to uh, play a curl shot to the right. Uh, top of plus two with APOC five and above. Blue ring touching the rough with APOC five and six. Uh, going with 5.8 top spin, three right spin. Uh, APOC seven, your ring reference, you'd have 30% uh, of the clear ring on the fairway. APOC four, you will be at the top of plus eight with 30% of the blue ring inside the rough. Max plus 10, power three. Then once we've adjusted, time to take our shot. We're going to go uh, with two ball of curl. And uh, we're looking at just before the circle drops as our overpower reference. Hit perfect here. Please pack the runner. You will need it for your second shot because we're going to need topspin to play a rough bump. Heavy great right might land in the rough directly. So if you think you are a great right hitter, safeguard it and set yourself a little further to the left. Drive distance around 382 yards. Making a fringe check here for our reference. So bullseye over the fringe where it meets the green in line with the pin gave me plus three. Then it's time to add spin. I'm going with seven top spin and one right spin. I know I add seven and a half here, but uh, I changed my mind and go back to seven in a moment. So you'll see that adjustment coming up now. I missed this one just to the right. Um, and I'm going to give you on the notepad a tweaked slider value should get you in. I tried that slider value, unfortunately hit a great right, so, uh, but I am pretty confident it will go in. Uh, ball guide just through the hole there, a little bit of the red ring overlapping the fairway. So for a plus three fringe check, uh, go 58% slider please, 30% elevation. Uh, in the video I think I played 66%, uh, so I've taken 0.2 off the adjustment. Should get you in, 2% per yard, so if you're at plus two, you'll be 56 and so on. Nice speed, but like I say, with a tweak, should get you in for the eagle. For plenty of early access content, including Academy tutorials and the latest episode of my Club Guide series, join us on patreon.com forward slash BK Golf Clash. You loads of elevation charts as well and win charts for all the tournaments. Great way to support the free content here on the channel plenty for you over there so please join us on patreon.com pack the goliath here please so we're going to go apoc and goliath just in case you're out of range or in between clubs with the grizzly uh, you don't have to use a precision ball but i hit a run of great drives so uh, just to make it easier i did a ball swap here a 4.8 top spin three left spin top of plus eight with apoc five and above clear ring touching the rough on the left with apoc five and six APOC 4, 40% uh, of the clearing overlapping the rough on the left at the top of plus 14 yards. Max plus 15 elevation here, going now with some curl. And uh, it's going to be uh, two and a quarter ball to the left. Just before the circle drops as arrow over power reference and hit perfect. Minor great left, minor great right. I've tested those a few times, hence the precision ball have all been fine. Drive distance here is going to be in the region of 375 to 380 yards. Second shot with the Goliath going with half a bar of backspin. Add your spin first. Now the offset is important here uh, because you don't have a full ball guide. So you want the ball guide there to be on the edge of that light green square uh, column. Okay, so there's your position. Uh, ball ball guide on the edge of that column, the end of the ball guide, because the green slopes to the right. Uh, landing position plus yards, plus seven, we're going to go 96% slider, 20% elevation, final part of the equation, of course, apart from hitting perfect, is that you're going to pull over the bullseye. 
Okay, 96% slider, 20% elevation, 2% per yard, so plus 6 would be 94, plus 8 would be 98, and so on. Perfect ball away, bouncing nicely. If you've got your aim correct, then you should be in for an albatross. Thanks very much for watching this video here on the channel. If it has helped you in any way, please consider sharing it amongst your friends and clan mates in the game. Join us also on Facebook. Head over there, search for BK Golf Clash and join our free group. Loads of members there sharing shots. Free guides are posted as well as loads of other great Golf Clash resources. So check us out there. You can join in the discussion and also leave feedback on the game in general. Finally, if you wish to help support the channel and keep the content free for everybody, please consider becoming a Patreon member. The link is in the video description down below. Good luck. See you soon. Bye for now.